with the fourth quarter about to get underway. Folks, it's been that kind of season for Utah State. Wow. Fourth quarter. My goodness. Outscored so badly. And we talked about that in the opening five games where they led going into the fourth quarter. They ended up on the wrong end, losing those games. We talked about them finishing. Uh, will this be for Utah State another time where they just can't finish it yeah, in that fourth quarter a minus 18 spot their second quarter has been their big scoring machine moment gotta send out a quick aloha we had mentioned on those extra points in the field goal attempts the long snapper Hawaii's Luke Ingram one of the best in college football his brother Jake Ingram former UH long snapper NFL draft pick, Patriots. We'll get to that real quick. But well, Jake texted me. He's now watching this game with maybe the guy, the guy who's the creator of the greatest sack dance in the NFL. Moniz, looking big home run again down the left sideline intended for Trevor Davis. Who's that guy? The greatest sack dance in the NFL. I'll give you one better. That was Mark Gastineau yes. of the New York Jets. Uh, and I'm going to have to go another 80s reference. Part of that New York sack exchange defensive line with Joe Klecko, Marty Lyons, and Abdul Salam. Yes. That's a pretty pass by Moniz. You just pulled it out like I don't know where. I, I, I just have a, I'm a fountain of useless information. <laughs> yeah, Jay Gigram sitting down chilling in Arizona. Watching this game with Mark Gaston. Aloha. Moniz, lots of pressure. Shovel pass to Il Sefa. Got not much blocking, but he gets creative and gets positive yards off that shovel. And I'll give you one better. Abdul Salam, the defensive tackle on that team. His real name is Larry Falk. Brian Moniz, again, we talked about his coming into this game. He's taking some shots. And he's being forced to scramble a lot. This 3 4 defense, they bring a guy off that edge off outside linebacker. They're putting decent pressure on Moniz. Let's go. Third and three now at the 31 yard line. Sterling Jackson in for Iosefa at running back. And everybody moving except the guy snapping the ball. That's London Sopolu. Seven ball team. Offense number 56. Five yard penalty. Third down. 17 penalties. Great. How many? He can't be happy about that. No, coach, coach cannot be happy. We saw Dick Tommy walk by, the special teams coach, former UH head coach. A look of disgust on Have their you ever faces. Heard of an assistant coach who came back for head coach at a school where he used to be head coach? You know, that's a good one. That is a good one. That was, that was, it's a strange thing. Third and eight. Moniz looking to throw right side. Completion to Maya Ostrowski. Well, short. Well, it took me a minute, but down. I came up with one. Mouse Davis, yes. former head coach at Portland State, became the offensive coordinator under Jerry Glanville, who is the head coach at Portland State. So one that That's has an good. intimate UH connection. That's no Abdullah, but it's pretty good. <laughs> so here on fourth down, Warriors looking like they're going to go for it. Out of the range of Tyler Haddon. They're 0 for 2 in this game. On fourth down attempts. Timeout on the field. 13 on 1 left in this game. 31 21 Warriors lead the Aggies. This is University of Hawaii football on OC Sports. You're making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun up here in the booth. Robert K. Collar with Darren Hernandez. Got Lori Santi and Rob DeMello on the field. 13 on 1 left in this game. Warriors lead the Aggies 31 21. Going to go for it. On fourth and three from the 31. Their third fourth down attempt in this game. It's a keeper on the option. Moniz. Did he get enough? It'll depend on the spot. I think he's short. 
seven for nine on fourth down opportunities coming into this game. Well, that's the second time that they went to the short side. Last time they pitched it out to Iosefa and he was stopped short, run out of bounds. This time, Moniz keeps it, in, depending on the spot, but it looks like he's going to be short. Hey, from that angle, from that angle, I thought he got it. From this angle, it looks like a terrible spot. I thought from the initial replay, looking across the field to the opposite side marker that Moniz looked like he got that ball over the desired distance. Boy, that's... It's going to depend on the spot, but that looks really, really close. This is left foot, right foot. First down, no. First down, Utah State. That's the celebration. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot get any closer than what Bright Moniz just did on that marking, that measurement, and not get that first down. 0 for 3. 0 for 3 tonight, 7 for 9 coming in, 78% on fourth down. So Coach McMacken cannot be happy with those three. Oh, and 0 for 3 on fourth down. So now 12 50, Aggies trail by 10. They take over first and 10 at their 28 yard line. Adam Kennedy, play action, fake give to Durbin. Kennedy looking down the field, picked off. No, it's not. Looked like Mike Edwards had it, had it taken away by Stanley Morrison. That's a 72 yard touchdown. What a turn of events for Utah State. Not only getting a fourth down stop on fourth and three, but coming back on the sudden change of possession. And Adam Kennedy, we talked about the spark. Well, how's that for a spark? Stanley Robbins, uh, Stanley Morrison defeating two defenders for the football. That was, that was unreal. That went through the hands of Mike Edwards. The extra point. It's a three-point ball game. 12-39 left in the fourth quarter. 31-28. This is University of Hawaii football on OC. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So Mike, you know, Mike Edwards had the ball, and if he was more aggressive, I mean it looks like he could have got an interception. He kind of waited for it to come to him. I thought for sure Mike Edwards would have an INT instead a big time touchdown to Stanley Morrison here the kickoff by Utah State down by three mishandled by Scott Hardy at the five yard line Hardy across the 20 and then brought down okay Dan Hernandez the numbers are 79 70 72 that's the answer the question would have been the three second half touchdown drives by the Utah State Aggies and you can see this last one one play 72 yards Morrison 72 yard catch from Adam Kennedy we talked about him maybe he was going to provide a spark off the bench for the Aggies and he definitely has done that tonight I mean three second half possessions by Utah State and three touchdowns on scoring drives over 70 yards or 70 yards or more Warriors take over first and 10 at the 23. Monique, complete. Billy Ray Stutzman at the five yard line. Let's check on the field quickly with Lori Senti. On the sidelines of a rejuvenated Utah State Aggie football team, the cheerleading really being being led by Turbin. Remember now, Robert, they were shut out in the second half against Fresno State. They scored one touchdown only against La Tech. This has not been a second half scoring team, but they have popped open for 21 points here in the second half against Hawaii. Thank you, Lori. She's absolutely right. The way they've gone in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter, it's been visible. It's been frustrating. Second and two at the 31. Only play at, at the pass to Billy Ray Stutzman. Barely across the 30 yard line. Maybe a game of one. That's going to bring up third down and for Hawaii now. I mean, they've seemed to kind of lost their mojo on offense. They haven't been able to get anything 
really uh, they can't get untracked. If you look at the scores by by quarters after that 28 point deluge by Hawaii in the second quarter. I mean, you look at this fourth quarter, 7-0. We need a, a Hawaii needs to score quickly. 11-25 left in this game, three-point game. Warriors give to Neil Sefo. He's short. Aggies have stumped Hawaii's offense on third and short. Aggies are fired up, Robert. They have come to play. They are a different team in the second half, especially now. You know, their Achilles heel has been the fourth quarter. And they, here, they're going to get it. I thought he was short. Wow, they're going to give him the prog forward progress. As much as I thought that previous possession, that Moniz had gotten that first down and got a bad spot, instead they turned it over on four downs. I thought Iosefa was short. Instead, first down Warriors at the 33 yard line. There's a pause on the play. Timeout by Hawaii. Warriors call timeout according to the official. Their second charge timeout here in the second half. A lot of time. 22 seconds to be exact left on that play clock. Well, let's talk about Adam Kennedy again. Right now, I mean, he's provided such a spark for this Utah State Aggie team. His stats four of six, 137 yards, and two touchdowns. He has been money in the second half for the Aggies. I must admit, unexpected. For him to step in and put up those kind of numbers and to engineer this offense into three possessions and three touchdowns on drives that covered 70 or more yards. Pleasant surprise for the Utah State Aggies. And coming into this game, Adam Kennedy had 46 yards passing. Oh my gosh. 46. Good on him. Uh, first and ten on the 33. Oh, he's running some type of option game again and going nowhere. Bonis to Sterling Jackson and Kyle Gallagher put an immediate end to that. We've seen Kyle Gallagher. It's kind of the, uh, you know, he's kind of the guy that doesn't get all the attention. You know, Bobby Wagner is the guy. If you look at Kyle Gallagher's numbers, he has 53 tackles. He's second on the team, six feet, 225, kind of the inside pair of inside linebacker with, with Wagner, and uh, he brings it on every play. We've now been told that officially Hawaii's been given that timeout back, not being charged for that timeout that the official said they called. Moniz, no place to throw, keeps it, runs with it, gets back now to just across the original line of scrimmage. After that loss in the run play, the option to Sterling Jackson had decent time to get rid of the football, decent protection. Nobody opened downfield. And Hawaii just looks like uh, they, they have not gotten their rhythm at all in the second half uh, with all the injuries on the offensive line. We talked about it uh, not going back to the beginning of the season when they lost Sean Shigematsu. We've had injuries with Chauncey Winchester Makai and I they just have not found a rhythm tonight. To the third and eight on the 35. He's standing in the pocket delivers long distance intended receiver. Billy Ray Stutzman. The offense has gone stagnant. And you mentioned the troubles at offensive line. Shigematsu out early. The guy who replaced him, Levi Legay, at right tackle, he's the only offensive lineman of the eight different starters that they've had this season that has not missed an entire series, at least one series, because of injury. Alex Danaki. His second punt attempt of the game. It 
There's all kinds of hang time, and yet another non return punt because of that hand time, 36 yards. And that time, Danaki was hoping for a, a roll, and it didn't. It just kind of rolled to the left and out of bounds, unfortunately, for Coach McMackin was hoping to force Utah State to, to really go the length of the field. Now, not bad field position here at the 30. So Adam Kennedy, Warriors need to have an answer. The Aggies on offense under their second string quarterback here in the second half. They've been explosive. First and 10 on their own 30. And this time, no fooling. It's a gift to Roman Robert. Turbin stuffed net at the line of scrimmage. Leading the pack for the Warriors is Pai Pai Falimalu. Defensive end for the Warriors been active tonight against Utah State. Second and nine. Kennedy, decent time at the delay, at the draw play, quarterback draw. Nothing happening as rather quick. He decided to make that move. That pocket was falling apart. Well, at 6'5, 218, whenever you slide, I mean, that's a long. That's a pair of long legs. He actually gains a nice five yards based on how long he is. A third and four crowd here at Aloha Stadium. Going to pick up the home team defense. Kennedy looking to throw. Gets pressure inside. Dump off to Turbin. And Turbin barely getting back to the line of scrimmage. Corey Paredes on top. And Pai Pai Falemalu on the bottom. Great job by Falemalu reading his keys on the backside. And were, they were not fooled at all. A nice play call. I mean, you want to get the ball into the hands of your playmaker, Turbin. Tyler Bennett. That punt ugly again. And then brought down by Tank Hopkins that covers 35 yards. For a guy who put up big numbers punting, not been pretty tonight. 7 3 left in this ballgame. Warriors lead by three. This is University of Hawaii football on OC Sport. UH Warriors have one sack tonight, which means McDonald's of Hawaii will donate an additional $500 to UH Athletics for tonight's super sack performance. And that's the guy that got it. Art Laurel, that's 28 sacks this season. For the Warriors on defense. Utah State. 227 yards total offense here in the second half compared to 152 in that first half. Warriors 160 after intermission, 235 total offense in that first half. Monique complete. Ostrowski near the sideline, picked up a maybe two or three yards. That has been the only successful play in that pass game tonight. Is those outs the short side? 6:45 left. We talked about Ostrowski and Stutzman, the original two of the original starters on offense at receiver. Those two guys are going to have to make a bunch of short uh, catches right now, moving the chains and getting some first downs for the Warriors. And both back to their original positions now, slot back. To the outside is Davis, and to the inside. Is Joey Yosefa gets stuck by Boje Filimoyatu. We talk about a big linebacker, Filimoyatu, 6'2, 250, unblocked into the backfield. Now that's a prototype inside linebacker with a textbook takedown of a big running back. Fili Moyatu Boje. That's an all name team right there. That is all name team. Brings down third now. And seven, maybe eight yards to go for the first down. Moniz pressured out of the pocket. And Moniz brought down by Fili Moyatu again. Two plays in a row. Boje, Fili Moyatu. He's feeling it right now. If the Warriors are not careful, this could not turn into a beautiful night. 
for death. It's 5-12 and counting remaining in this game. Flag on the field. Warriors lead 31 to 28. Illegal snap. Offense number 45 picking the ball off the ground. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. The call Luke Ingram for picking the football off the ground and preparing himself for a snap. And that's rarely called a snap infraction. Usually you're allowed to spin to it around. Spin it around, but not pick it up off of the ground. So Alex Danaki, not his usual forever hang time, but still a fair catch. At the punt of 35 yards. As the Aggies will take over at their 41 yard line. There's 456 left in this game. They trail 31 28. And a quarterback was 5% for 137 yards. And all those numbers here in the second half. At full house backfield, two tight ends in motion now. They go strong across the line of scrimmage. At the fake give to Turbin. And Turbin feeling pressure and Turbin gets rid of it. I ask you, coach, how is that not holding? When you've got a defender in a quarterback's face, an offensive lineman yanking at him to spin him around. Yeah, that was a takedown. And Adam Kennedy wisely threw the ball out of bounds. Not very gracefully, by the way, but here you see, boy, Pai Pai Falemau gets held. Kennedy kind of just flicks it out of bounds. That brings up second and 10. Heads up played by Kennedy in the back end to get rid of that football. Kennedy, that's a complete. That's near first down for the Aggies at midfield to be about a yard short. And making that catch is Chuck Jacobs for Utah State. Chuck Jacobs already with a touchdown catch. Two catches for 41 yards. Okay, it's third and very short. There's no running back. Utah State will be forced to call a timeout because in this hurry up offense, this no huddle, they confused themselves. 416 left in this game. Aggies trail 28 to 31. This is University of Hawaii football on OC. Loud and Aloha Stadium, third and one for the Aggies at midfield. They trail 31 28. 416 left in this game. And Adam Kennedy to Robert Turbin and second effort pushing. By a bulked up back. Gets him first down for the Aggies. And the Hulk. This is straight power by your running back. Drops the head and everything. First down at the 48 yard line. Turbin still at running back. Trips left for Utah State. And they give to Durbin. Fumbles! It's a loose ball on the Aloha Stadium turf and recovered by Utah State. And those type of fumbles drive a an op opposing coach crazy because not only do they fumble, but they get the recovery and they gain yards. Yeah, Matt Austin is Johnny on the spot for the Aggies. Warriors showed complete blitz on that play. And Turbin never had the ball at all. I thought Adam Kennedy would check out when he saw the Warriors sell out at the line of scrimmage and bring the house. Kennedy looking to throw. It's a jump pass. That's completed or incomplete. It's caught by Turbin, taken down immediately by Corey Paredes for a gain of none. That's back to the line of scrimmage. Red is bringing that hammer, showing Turbin that you've got guns, I got some firepower of my own. Now third and four, at the 42. Option game, and that pitch is almost picked off by Art Laurel. Bouncy ball picked up by Smith, and Smith reverses field. Yet again, he's got some blocking. He's got a sideline, and he stepped out of bounds. Wow. Art Laurel. Almost intercepted the pitch and then chaos ensued. And a flag 
on the field on the opposite side right in front of the Hawaii bench. Usually with those long developing plays sometimes you get a block in the back. Illegal block in the back. Offense number four. Ten yard penalty. We play third down. So the guy who was Johnny on the spot on the previous play is Matt Austin. Look at this chaos. Art Laurel. What an effort. Wow. Art Laurel. I mean, great job by Smith here. Reversing field. He did step out of bounds about 15 yards prior to where he was spotted. He reversed Smith reversed field twice on one click after an unbelievable effort by Art Lowe. That sets up now third and long situation. Ball spotted at the 48 yard line. Third and 14. Hawaii fans get a lot in Halaba Valley. Adam Kennedy goes up top, pass intended, and a flag is flying, intended for Matt Austin, defended by Tank Hopkins. Last three plays have involved Matt Austin. Recovered fumble, illegal block to the back, and I think he just drew a pass interference penalty. On our number four, Tank Hopkins. Pass interference. Defense number four, 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. Now here we see four on four. And Tank Hopkins accused of impeding his progress. And guilty as charged. Now first down, Aggies. Ball spotted at the 38 yard line. Here, to Turbin. And the locomotive picks up a head of steam and runs through some contact at the line of scrimmage. Picks up positive yards. Boy, Turbin, as you can see, flashing the gun, the gun show. And here he is lowering his shoulder and folding back. Paredes with a great forward lean. Now Turbin, 95 yards on 14 carries, 149 and counting. Haggy, trail by three. Adam Kennedy. Looking to throw it. Had thought about a quick slant. Gets pressured out. Picks up a first down. Scrambling the ball. He thought quick slant. Nobody home. Pump fake rolls right side. Picks up positive yards for Utah State. And if you told me coming into this game that Adam Kennedy had only 46 yards passing, I would not believe a word of it. I mean, he has shown a lot of poise, a lot of character. Uh, he's cool under fire, and he's really playing well for the Aggies. And it's difficult because his game is much different than the starter. The freshman Chucky Keaton, 119 left in the game. Adam Kennedy looking right side. Pass intended for Matt Austin again, knocked away by Tank Hopkins. At the last moment, it looked like Hopkins was going to be beat. Matt Austin got behind Tank Hopkins, and he closed on him. Nice job by Tank Hopkins. Just reaching out at the last moment to knock that away and, and give the Warriors new life. That's straight summer league seven on seven. Big time. Because you're mano a mano to the outside. And Tank Hopkins locked up with Matt Austin. 114 at the give to the inside. Nothing doing for Utah State. Smith, the ball carrier, getting it to Madden Kennedy. The clock keeps ticking here. Utah State, they're thinking tie or win or else, because they're running down the clock. Not going to give the Warriors an opportunity if they put points on the board. 44 seconds and counting. Third down. Eight to go for the Aggies. Jerama in Halava. Adam Kennedy looking for it. Matt Austin again. And he connects with it. Beating Tank Hopkins. 17 yards. The clock will stop as they reset. It'll get that going once the official blows the whistle. Here we go. Under 30. Adam 
Kennedy in shotgun. And a timeout called by Hawaii. And again, we remind you, Hawaii was called for a timeout early. 30 second timeout. They were called, the official said timeout Hawaii, the second use of the second half that was taken back. So Hawaii now will have one more opportunity instead of that being the last one. And again, we took a look at uh, Adam Kennedy, and I bet you on the plane ride over, Adam Kennedy would never have dreamed that he would be the lead actor in a drama here in Halafa Valley. He was not thinking that at all. Especially the style of offense that Utah State had decided to go with in that midline option type action by their quarterback, the freshman, in Chucky King. Well, we talked about this Utah State team, two and five, but a lot of close losses, that opening close loss to Auburn, first in total defense in the WAC. Uh, they're a quality team. 11th play of this drive, first and goal, six yard run. 27 seconds left on the clock. It's Kennedy. It's a fake gift to Turbin, and then Kennedy flipped over at the one yard line. Not a touchdown. Ruled short. Wow. They called an option. Adam Kennedy with a fake gift to Turbin. Adam Kennedy went up airborne and the ball did not break the plane. There you see the ball landing on the one yard line. Timeout on the field. 60 seconds left in. That's effort by both teams. That's effort by Adam Kennedy. Effort by Aaron Brown and company to flip him at the one yard line. And this is what it's all about. This is football right here. Call me crazy. But if they call anything else but turbine up the gut, I'll be blown away. And this is where the Hawaii defense, especially that inside front, this is where they have to impose their will on the offensive line of Utah State if they have any shot of, of hoping for a win or at least a shot at overtime. There we go. 16 seconds on the clock. Adam Kennedy. The Robert Turbin touchdown. Utah State. That's Turbin's second trip into the end zone of this game. And who else are you going to give the ball to but to the Hulk? To Robert Turbin. Robert Turbin, your bread and butter guy. He's been, a, he's been the workhorse all season long. Just so tough to bring down. Earlier, busted out with that 48-yard touchdown run, and now the go-ahead score. That extra point is good. 34-30. Agnes leads the Warriors. Turbin now, 15 rushes for 96 yards. Two trips into the end zone. That was not rocket science. Was it? You had to give it to Turbin. He's the guy. I mean, he is the guy. That play before that was a great call, having Adam Kennedy take the ball on that midline option. And Utah State, what a comeback in the second half, spurred on by Adam Kennedy, who really provided the spark that this Aggie team needed. And Gary Anderson has to be pleased with his defensive effort, the performance of his defense in the second half. They've been outstanding as well. We had mentioned as the game started that a key to the game, whether it be offense, whether it be defense for Utah State, was Andy Rooney. It was finished. It was 60 minutes in honor of the former television commentary by Andy Rooney. And that television show, 60 minutes, Utah State has played 60 minutes tonight. Well, 59 minutes and 46 seconds. The final timeout call. It's been unbelievable the turn of events that happened here in the second half after Utah State lost their starting quarterback in Chucky Key. Bank of Hawaii presents the players of the game. The votes have been counted. 
pretty obvious choice here for Utah State and Adam Kennedy. Eight for 12, 163 yards and two touchdowns. A central player in this unfolding drama for the Aggies. And again, Brian Moniz, four touchdowns responsible for. He was the entire offensive attack for the Warriors. Yeah, two touchdown passes, two touchdown runs. An offense now looking ahead, looking forward. They're down three starters from this game to injury. Two receivers and Justin Clapp and Royce Pollard and right side offensive tackle Clayton Laurel. Utah State with a bullet squibber picked up by Mike Edwards. Who dove on the ground at the 20 yard line. Trying to stop the clock. He was told to do that, trust me. 11 seconds now for the Warriors. Ball just inside the 20. So 81 yards away with one timeout. One timeout. And 11 ticks. 11 ticks down by four. Uh, it's going to take an absolute miracle yes. here for the Warriors. And you've got two safeties for Utah State that are now 35 yards down the field. They're not going to allow a Hawaii receiver. To get behind them. When he's pressured out of the top, he's going to run with it. Down the right side seam. Looking for a player across the field. Complete to Iosefa. And Iosefa throws it. They go Cal Stanford. They go Cal Stanford with that without the band. Had to try something. They had to try something. Warriors lose. To the Aggies of Utah State. Final score 35 to 31. Incredible comeback by the Aggies after what it looked like at halftime, trailing 28 to 7. Our highlight of the game is in favor of Utah State. Sponsored by Kaiser Permanente. That's the Hulk. That's Robert Turbin, rumbling Robert, getting into the end zone for the game winning touchdown for the Aggies, who were winless in the whack coming into this game. And Hawaii fans will not soon forget Robert Turbin and his heroics here tonight, and Adam Kennedy. I mean, you got to give Adam Kennedy all the credit in the world for coming off the bench and leading this team to that second half comeback. Now, in that first half, when the Aggies lose their quarterback in Chucky Keaton, and we look around and see Adam Kennedy warming up, nobody could have expected the outcome of what they get from that guy coming into this game. Exactly right. I mean, kind of a tall a drop back passer, but he showed some nifty moves as a runner. He showed so much poise under pressure. Uh, he was able to run the ball with, with some option like plays, play action. Uh, he did it all for the Aggies tonight. But that man right there, Robert Turbin, I mean, we saw him do a little bit of everything, just a powerhouse with the ball in his hands. And, he was he was outstanding tonight. The Warriors outscored the Aggies 28 to 7 in that first half. After intermission, UH gets outscored 28 to 3. The offense went stagnant after intermission. Got to give credit to that defense of Utah State. They did a fantastic job in the second half, limiting Hawaii just, I mean, basically three points. Yeah. Next, the Warriors go on the road. That's it for Darren Hernandez, for Lori Santi, Rob DeMello during the in game. We'll be back with that post game. Warriors lose tonight to Utah State 35 to 31. I'm Robert Kekawa. This is University of Hawaii football on OC Sports.